How can your pet peeves be a good source of humor and also serve a point to the audience? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. A valuable source of humorous material that I learned from the comedy world is to investigate your own pet peeves. Remember, a lot of comedy and humor comes out of frustration. Well, what better source of frustration than our pet peeves? An example for my world is I like to drive, and I do not like to drive in the fast lane on the highway behind somebody who decides to go slightly below the speed limit. That person doesn't get the concept that they need to get over. And I hate to admit this, but I, I get a bit impatient, and I... Uh, well, I won't say what I want to do. It's just, <laughs> This is a speaking tip. Here's the thing. The frustration can lead me to some humor like, well, maybe I'm just better off pulling my car to the side of the road and walking. I'll get there faster. Not a hilarious line, but it's humor born out of frustration. This can also lead to a serious point. In the business world, I would say, are there people in your organization who are driving in the left lane, who are bottlenecking good ideas, efficiency, etc. The line serves two purposes. Another pet peeve of mine is people who have their ringers on extremely loud in public places or who decide to talk at the top of their lungs in public places. I don't care about your conversation and I don't care about the fact that somebody's trying to reach you. Turn it down. I haven't come up with a funny line for that. If you've got one, post it below this video. A lesson that can be taken from that experience, though, is a question for an organization. Are there people here in this group, in your team, who are speaking too loud, who are making so much noise that they're distracting the good ideas, the communication, or even the clarity of message within your organization? Take a good look at your pet peeves. Look at them first as a source of humor, and if you can't see the humor like I can't right now with people with loud phones in public, ask other people. They'll give you good insight and help you come up with the humor. Then ask yourself, what's the deeper message that could fit into my presentation or my story? Talk with you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Mm -hmm.